In this two-minute Java video lesson, we add shapes, images, and controls to a Java FX application. We're going to use a VBox layout, but we're going to start as we started the Java FX projects before by making a Java FX project in NetBeans. NetBeans will automatically create a Hello World application, and then we're going to strip out the unnecessary code that we don't need, change the title, and change the pane to from a stack pane to a V box and continue from there. I add the bolded section of code which is what I need to do to add an image. Now later in this example I will add the image to the root V box which is uh, um, the actual uh, pane that we're using on the stage. In the bolded sections of code that are shown on this particular slide are the shapes. We make a circle shape, uh, set its radius size to 100, set the fill to a different color, make a rectangle, which is 150 by 200, and set the fill to a very different color for the rectangle. Later in this example, I will add all these to the root V box. In the bolded section on this slide, I add the button. Now notice the button is something that's functional, so of course it has a handle for the action event that allows you to put some code in there to handle what the button does. But we're just going to deal with the button cosmetically. We're going to create a button, we're going to put a, some text on that button, and then later we're going to add it to the pane, which is called root, and is going to be a VBox. The section of bolded code shown here adds the nodes, which would be the circle, the rectangle, the image, and the button, to root, which is a panel of the type VBox. Now if you remember correctly, VBoxes um, display the items in one vertical column. The unbolded code at the bottom is where we set the scene, stage, and show the actual um, uh, application. The result is that I have an image, a circle, a rectangle, and a button control all displayed in one vertical column. They display in the order in which I added them to the VBox. In the next video we'll discuss animations in JavaFX.